So hey guys, this is going to be my crock pot recipe. Um, this one's a little bit easy, but I figured I would do it anyway. Um, so yeah, I have a whole bunch planned for next week. I just went grocery shopping yesterday, so I have a whole bunch of crock pot videos that I'm going to do one every day for next week. Um, probably not this weekend, but we'll see. Okay, so you're going to need your crock pot. You're going to need a roast, and mine's a little bit, I, well, I guess it's a little bit deep thawed. I had it in the freezer, so it's kind of has water everywhere. But um, this is the nature's basket. It's the natural beef. Um, animals are given no hormones or antibiotics, no artificial ingredients, minimally processed animals, traceable to birth, and 100% vegetarian diet, um, which is good. And this was expensive. It was $16.35 for this. So you're going to need that. Um, then you're going to need some potatoes, and I have organic um, potatoes, and then you're going to need some vegetables, which I'll get those out here in a minute. So I'm going to open this. And I'm going to stick it just in the bottom of the crock pot. And I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. So we have our roast down there. And even if it's not um, thawed, completely thawed, that's okay. Um, you can add a little bit of water in here. And I'm just going to add literally just a fourth a cup just around it because when this cooks down, it'll make its own juice. So what I like to use is the Simply Organic All Seasoning Salt, just a little bit of that. Then I'm going to use Mrs. Dash um, Onion and Herb. And then I'm going to use some garlic and herb. Okay. And then you can also throw a bouillon cube in here. I normally um, sit it underneath the beef. Um, and then I sit it on top of the bouillon cube. I'm not going to do that today. But um, then we're going to take our potatoes. And I'm going to wash them and scrub them up. And I'll be right back. Okay, so once you scrub those up, we're just going to cut them in half and I'm just going to leave them in half because these are going to be cooking for a while and then just set them around the roast and we're just going to set these kind of around the roast You can set them on top of each other. It doesn't really matter. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to season them with just the same stuff we seasoned this stuff with. Just lightly because it will soak up all the juice from the meat. And I really like this Mrs. Dash. I am trying to go all organic spices, but these are expensive. Um, but Mrs. Dash, they're salt free and they're actually really good. So I do like Mrs. Dash stuff a lot. Okay, and then just some seasoning salt. And then I'm going to add some carrots. the raw carrots that I had I'm just going to throw those in there but I will um, I'm going to throw some more I have frozen vegetables that I put in afterwards so I'm going to leave this cook by the time I get home what I do is I take the meat out and the potatoes and everything out and then in the juice and everything I throw my peas my corn um, and my green beans and I'll probably throw some more carrots in there and heat that up for about 15 minutes maybe and then it'll be all ready to go. So that's how I do it. Um, put the lid on and bake on low for probably about six, seven hours and it'll be like falling apart. It's so good. Um, really easy but um, I'll show you what I do with the other vegetables when I come back. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like. I cooked it all day. I'm going to take out the meat and potatoes, and then I'm going to put some peas and beans and carrots and stuff back in there. So heat it up for about 15 minutes, and I'll show you what it looks like. It is very tender, really good, and I use mine. I put on my organic ketchup. So yeah, that's our dinner.